Alright, uh, this is a weekly love reading for Capricorn. Um, if you saw in the thumbnail, uh, that is the Chronicles of Narnia. Um, when I when I used to work at Walmart, it would be hard to get back to the front where I worked or to the garden because a lot of customers would stop me and my friends would be like, oh, you stopped by Narnia has a Mr. Thompson or whatever his name is. And I was like, I was helping customers. What are you talking about? But yeah, that's, um, yeah, that, that could be you sometimes. You just kind of zone out or you're very helpful or you're kind of in your own little world sometimes. So that could be what it's quoting to. So anyway, uh, the first card in your reading is going to be the love theme. The love theme is going to be the Eight of Cups. The Eight of Cups is discovering the truth, moving on, developing relationships, seeking the truth, knowing them. So you might actually know your partner a little bit too well, or you might be knowing somebody else a lot more than you should. Um, you know, <laughs> there's there's some people that are like myself and they're you know they go off on tangents and you know it's it's a little weird um but <laughs> i know i'm eccentric and i know i'm weird but you know that some of the best people are you know it's either your eccentric good or eccentric um you know bad but you know you can be eccentric neutral as well so you know on the D, &D scale anyway we have number two. Number two is love challenge. Your love challenge is going to be the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune is an ending and beginning, a new relationship, the end of an old relationship, seeking out a new set of friends. So you might actually be um, kind of in a new area or a new point in your life where you're just seeking out uh, friends that you have more in common with friends that are kind of developing with you, or friends that you can learn a lot from. Alright, uh, so number three, we have your lesson in this relationship that you could be in with your spouse. Um, we have the Ten of Swords in Reverse. The Ten of Swords in Reverse, it can't get any worse, only upwards, the inevitable end. So this could be the end of a lifestyle, the end of a chapter in your life, or the end of an actual relationship, so you're kind of going solo, and you're kind of trying to find out where everything went wrong. Um, it could also be that moment in your life where you're kind of hit a wall, and you're just kind of picking yourself up. You might be doing a lot of things that might not be the most savory of things to do, but at the same time, it's what you have to do in the situation. Alright, so number is their lesson. So this is your person's lesson. We have the Five of Swords. The Five of Swords is the end of a relationship, pointless, arguing, hostility, uh, feeling undervalued in a conflict. So your person might feel like there's no winning with you, there's no going towards um, common ground with this relationship because there's probably a lot of different things involved. Okay, you might have a kid, you might have, you know, a family member that's not willing to turn a blind eye to what's going on in your relationship or your personal life, and they just kind of don't see it as working. So there could be third party influence, or there might be a cultural influence. Or some, some type of thing that's not 100% like g-hauling with everybody in your life, okay? So it might not be the time to start a relationship that's kind of out of, you know, the way of what's normally going on in your life. Alright, so number five, we have growth zone. We have the five of cups in reverse. Five of cups in reverse is acceptance, moving on, finding peace. So both of you have to find peace, even if it's separate and away from each other, okay? Alright, number six, we have sex and romance. This is the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups is moodiness and disappointment, so there's going to be a lot of disappointment here. It's probably because you're single and nothing's really going on. Um, but, you know, anyway, your channel messages are lucky in love. Loss of opportunity, 
and finding the truth about a dark secret in your relationship or your community, family life, um, in general. Okay, um, so there's, <laughs> it's quite an adventure. Um, anyway, Capricorn, hopefully this helps you out in some way, shape, or form. If you haven't seen the Chronicles of Narnia, it's pretty awesome. Um, it was one of my favorites when I was growing up. I think I've seen every movie in that whole thing. But, um, yeah, if, if you haven't seen it, you should see it. Um, I think The Lion is my favorite, and The Witch is always kind of like, you know, the devil's a a advocate of, um, devil's advocate of, like, just D Debbie Downer stuff. You know, it's kind of like that riff that they have in Star Wars, too. But it's, it, it's a really cool way to look at the world and what's going on now and actually put yourself in a more submersive type of fictional world and how that works out for the characters, you know. Anyway, Capricorn, check that out, and I will see you in the next one, alright? Later.